morning everyone how's it going so I have this Xbox one here I took apart uh, I needed some uh, I need sorry I sent it to get repaired uh, because uh, it wouldn't boot up so we just turn on and turn off Sorry about that. This is my uh, my new uh, I guess coffee, if you want to call it. In the morning, I grab one of these Spark energy drinks. So uh, yeah, like I was saying, I have this Xbox One. It doesn't turn on or anything, so I have it open here. So I'm just gonna show you guys what's inside one of these. Obviously, you shouldn't scrap these unless, like, the thing was soaked in the water. <laughs> because they're, they're still worth uh, about, uh, I guess, depending on the condition, 50 to 100 bucks. Well, like I said, if it's soaked in water, it's finished. So, got a nice little Wi Fi board here. So, there's definitely gold here, some gold here, gold here for sure some gold in these chips some tantalum uh, capacitors even some uh, aluminum here on the foil and you got your steel screws uh, plastic covers these alone you can probably sell for like 20 bucks people always need the covers and this here, the, the front plate, sorry, the front plate here, uh, it's pretty much quite valuable because these are like all touch, touch buttons. So, for example, if someone has this ribbon here that's ripped or torn in any way, they can turn on their Xbox One or eject or anything. So this uh, this piece here without this big chunk of plastic is probably worth like 10 15 dollars so some value there then you have the drive board which is kind of like a computer dvd drive i guess so it has its board so we have this is the value of uh of a um DVD or Blu-ray drive on a PC so we have gold here you have the small IC chips that have gold there's tantalum there's small bits and pieces of gold on the thing there's a switch here which probably has some silver another gold connector kind of hard to see but there's gold in there too obviously gold in the SATA cable piece of wire you know so this alone is quite valuable then you have the actual drive itself and of course gold tipped this is just some flex cable not gold tip I'm pretty sure the laser probably has a gold plated diode in it uh, obviously this is some aluminum little copper bearing motor uh, but even these some people buy them at like 10 bucks because they need parts out of them uh, so we have another piece of cable here got another piece of cable here the Wi-Fi uh, cable so let's see here so this is another piece that could be sold for parts, plastic. So we have this 500 gig hard drive. So I haven't tested the hard drive yet. It might be working. Obviously, if it's working, it's worth a few bucks, uh, probably like 25, 30 bucks. Uh, what's special about these is they come with the uh, Xbox One, I guess, operating system pre installed in them uh, 
the thing is, unlike other consoles, the Microsoft uh, hard drives aren't kind of like plug and play. You can't take this one out and plug it in a hard, other hard drive and have it work. Uh, you need to pre-install the, the software. So someone who has an Xbox One with a bad hard drive will pay more for a working hard drive with all the pre-installed information inside. So usually these go for 60 to 70 alone just because it has the pre-installed information. For people who know how to install the stuff already uh, unneeded for them. Uh, I sometimes repair these so uh, so it's good for me to get one with all the pre-installed stuff because I have no idea how to do it without it. Uh, I guess if I sit down and really really pay attention because there's all sorts of computer lingo that goes into it. They're very I can't say complicated because I haven't tried. I'm sure if I sit down and study it myself I'll be able to do it. Anyway, so then we have the hard drive here, like I said. If this actually works, probably 70 bucks because it has the pre-installed information. Then we got the motherboard. Obviously we have the IC chips, lots of tantalum. Uh, obviously there's gold connectors. There's a USB port here, which is gold. Um, you have the Ethernet port, which has gold. More USB ports with gold, HDMI ports with gold. Uh, the heatsink is quite big. Nice little fan. It has copper, so it's a copper, uh, the aluminum copper heatsink, which obviously increases its value. Uh, kind of basic. There's another board here at where the power and eject faceplate plug into. Uh, not much on here. There's a little bit of gold here, some tantalum. Uh, this would be a mid-grade mid board. Uh, for the main motherboard, uh, people have said that uh, console motherboards are sold as peripheral. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's how I sell them. Uh, I'm not one of those people that try to get max max dollar out of everything because this is not my main business scrapping so I go with what people tell me so I was told this peripheral I'll sell a peripheral maybe you can sell it as a um, as a one slot uh, motherboard PC motherboard because it, it doesn't really have a slot but it does have a processor so it might be considered one of those so it's really up to you to decide I usually sell this peripheral so like you can see is this is what a Xbox one looks like internally especially the motherboard so even broken it has some value depending what's broken personally I think the motherboard is the issue on this so I'm pretty sure the hard drive is still good uh, like I said it could be anywhere between 50 to 70 just because it has the pre-installed Microsoft uh, software inside even the fan I can probably sell for 10 to 15 complete with the heatsink people need these parts uh, scrap value like I said it's not worth scrapping even if it's broken but if it's completely finished uh, submerged in water you see rust and water damage there's no point of trying to to recover or sell it you'll just get someone really angry at you so better just to scrap it up in that case but it really has to be completely finished because like I said even if it's not working the fan has some value uh, the hard drive has some value the covers have some value and I think even if there's water damage you can still sell the covers and get some money out of that so so definitely uh, when you're scrapping an Xbox one like I said it's total water damage sell the covers get a few dollars for it scrap the rest if it's just not working you can take it apart sell the hard drive if you think it's working sell the fan heat sink sell the covers or sell it complete and you'll probably get 50 maybe a hundred dollars uh, especially if you haven't opened it ever you can probably definitely get a hundred seventy to a hundred dollars for a used Xbox so 
scrap wise there's quite a bit of value there's a few boards DVD board or Blu-ray board cables quite a bit of gold Wi-Fi boards the blue the drive itself you can sell as a broken drive or sorry not as a broken drive but as a drive to uh, as a PC drive sorry I can I could say because technically this is a PC there's quite a bit of value so if you ever get one of these this is what it looks like internally quite a bit of value so that's what I'm gonna do I'm trying to take it apart sell the parts see what happens I'll probably be able to make at least a hundred bucks out of this so like and subscribe if you have any comments let me know and even if you have any suggestions suggest uh, something to scrap I've done it for other people in some of my videos they've asked me to scrap certain things and I have so uh, see you guys next time